another announcement came today. If you're running out of things to do with the kids at home, you may like this news. Yes, we learned that state parks all across South Carolina are expected to reopen one week from this Friday on May the 1st. I spoke with the director of Parks Rec and Tourism, Dwayne Parrish, via Skype earlier and learned when they swing the gates open, Amy, there will be some limits, though, to keep the visitors safe. This is some good news. People have been co cooped up in their homes and, you know, it seems like things are getting a little bit better. So tell us a little bit about this tentative plan to reopen the parks on May the 1st, it sounds like. Sure, Ben. Yes, that's our tentative date. You know, we need time to plan to be able to open the parks, but we closed them down March 27th. People were not really social distancing like they should. Um, we also were um, inundated with people because of the closure of local uh, county and state, excuse me, county and local parks. So um, we think that by that time, there'll be some county and local parks open to take off some of the pressure, number one. Number two, we know some beaches will be open by that time. And number three, people understand a lot more about social distancing today and how important it is. So we'll open up today, so May 1st. Um, we'll do that for about 11 days. And then starting May 11th, we'll start taking reservations for campgrounds and cabins. Okay, so, so that's kind of, you were talking a little bit about the limited basis. Um, right. Things like playgrounds will not be open, it sounds like, until June the 1st. Uh, some other things will not be available right on May 1st, is that right? Um, exactly, yeah. Community buildings, interpretive centers, um, picnic shelters, places where people gather in groups um, will still be closed. Um, we'll, you know, we'll keep an eye on everyone to try to make sure everyone's social distance and, and practices the things that they should. But we'll also um, we'll provide a, a recreation that people, we know there's cabin fever right now, and provide a recreation that is much needed, I think, in a lot of the state's population. So it sounds like this was something that the, the, your department, you make the decision. It, it, you didn't necessarily need uh, the authorization of the governor or, or anything like that. This was people at Parks, Rec, and Tourism determining when the best time was to reopen. Yes, sir. Um, the governor never officially closed us. Um, we took, did that on our own volition. Um, we have reopened of our own with his approval, of course, but we, you know, we did that in the best interest of parks and the best interest of health and public safety for everyone. And we'll do the same with reopening. And obviously, you know, we can, we believe that people will um, social distance now and practice the things that they should. And also we're much more prepared for this now as well. So how will it go? I mean, I, I, I want to have a lot of, uh, faith and that people will do this when the parks are reopened, but will rangers be out making sure that people are not gathering in large groups and things like that? And if so, if it becomes a problem, would you, could you potentially have to shut the parks back down? Um, it could. There's always possible. Everything's so fluid right now. Anything, anything is possible, but we'll have rangers out, you know, making sure that people social distance like they should. In some of our very busy parks, probably six or seven of them, will actually have state law enforcement with us. Um, We'll control crowds through the gate. Um, we'll set up and, and once the parking lot's full, we'll probably shut the gate off at that point until it gets, until there is increased uh, availability for people to come in. Talk a little bit more about that. It sounds like you're gonna do something similar to kind of what like the big box stores are doing where they've got somebody sitting out front counting how many people are going in and how many people are going out. Same thing when the parks reopen. That's exactly right. We'll, we'll monitor that and count cars as they come in um, we'll monitor people wherever they're walking around in our day use areas and we'll, you know, we'll be able to do that through gate closure. We're used to this a little bit on like July 4th and busy holidays. We have to do some of that anyway. We'll just be much more uh, stringent about it this time. So which parks are we talking about reopening? Places like Croft State Park, Caesars Head, Jones Gap, Paris Mountain, also Table Rock. You saw some of the video in that piece. Yeah. Just a few of the 47 state parks that will give it a go again next Friday. It gives people one more place to go take a walk or a yeah. hike or something, get outside, get some fresh air, hopefully with their distance, right? That's right.